Hey guys, this is Amber Mellon and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. My videos are all about being a salon loft owner or suite owner, being an entrepreneur, um, hair, makeup, beauty, inspiration, and all things Amber Mellon life. So welcome to my channel and hey to all my ladies who are subscribed to me. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I know I said that I wasn't going to have any salon related videos this week, however, I did say if you love to um, comment in the comment section and you wanted a salon video related topic that I definitely would make a video for you. So this video is to um, Natural Sheet Kelly. Hey girl, how are you doing? Congratulations on your school and finishing. I hope you finish strong. I hope you stay excited. Uh, congratulations on wanting to get into a salon, sweet girl. It's a lot of hard work, but it's so rewarding. So this video is for you and for anyone else um, who had might have had any kind of concerns uh, or questions about this topic. So Miss Callie Sheik wanted to know, um, you know, how much products I use during a month and so what I would tell you Miss Callie Sheik is that um, it really just depends on what services you're offering in your salon for instance um, you know me I offer I do a lot of haircuts a lot of haircutting um, you know some months I'm busy with hair color some months I'm not it really just depends but for me a lot of my services is haircutting um, for someone else who does a lot of like short hair and curling and styling, you know, if you do blowouts, you might find yourself going through um, shampoo or foam wrap a lot or spritz and sprays, oil sheens. If you're really into like healing the hair, you might find yourself going through a lot of hair treatments, hair masks, deep conditioning treatments. If you are a barber, um, you know, you're going to go through a lot of clipper side spray, which I do a lot of men's hair too. A lot of my clientele is men, so me, myself, I do have to replace clipper side often. Uh, I'm still working on building up my clientele, so as I as my business grows and you know gets a lot better I probably will replace clipper side more often when I work at other places I probably could would have to replace clipper side like every two months um, you know because of how busy it was uh, if you do a lot of hair extensions you're probably gonna find yourself replacing a lot of needle and thread or whatever kind of products that you use for weave or and, and pomades you're gonna find yourself going through that and so it just really just depends on what services that you are offering your core services it also depends on you know are you um, starting out fresh with no clientele or do you already have a big clientele coming so if you're like me and starting with no clientele you're probably not gonna go through um, products quite as often I will tell you that I just had to replace um, my shampoo and conditioner that I use here in the salon probably towards the end of November beginning of December and I first initially bought this um, in May before I moved in my salon I moved in my salon June 12th and I start getting all my stuff together in May um, my choice of shampoo and conditioner is the tea tree Paul Mitchell shampoo conditioner I love this uh, lavender mint scent and um, this absolutely smells really good it's really good for oily scalp it's good for dry scalp um, if, if someone is suffering from dandruff and dry scalp it will help without over drying the scalp like other products like Selsun Blue or Head and Shoulders you have clients that use that and it just dries out their scalp too too much so this is a really great balance um, for women of color you know if I'm doing um, know a blowout or you know relaxing I will use more moisturizing products um, there's a product recently that I've been using is the design essentials um, blowout shampoo conditioner um, which works really really good I am loving that but I don't have a lot of natural hairstyling I don't do a lot of blowouts um, maybe in the future I will but not right now I live in Chapel Hill and I live you know in a predominantly um, white area so that doesn't mean I don't I do have a few black clientele but most of my clientele is Caucasian so right now I'm not doing a lot of natural hairstyling even though I know how to do it so um, another thing too is you'll 
go out of gloves. If you are doing a lot of hair color services, you'll go out of gloves. You're, go you're gonna go out of 20. Volume developer, if you're doing a lot of gray coverage, hair color services, you're gonna go out of 30 volume and hair lightener if you're doing a lot of highlights and fun, crazy colors. My choice of product for a hair lightener is the Redken Flash Lift. Um, I've used it before, you know, I came in here to the salon, I put it on my hair, and I really like it. Um, it works really, really well, and I love the consistency. It's not too runny and everything like that, so that's what I use. Um, you will have to replace cleaning supplies, you know, to keep your loft clean. The stuff that we don't like to think about, you know, trash bags, you know, hand sanitizer, Kleenex for your clients to blow their nose. Um, you know, refreshments. I have wisened up when I first moved into my salon. OMG, I got everything. I got chips, I got juice, I got Gatorade, I got cookies. I mean, I had everything. And what I didn't think about was, is I didn't have the clientele for it because I knew, for some reason in my mind, I thought, you know, because of the location I was in, that I was gonna get a lot of walk-ins, but girl, I didn't. And I had all these refreshments, um, you know, that I end up eating and even sometimes I offer my clients refreshments, you know, I'll let them know it's free, I don't charge, you know, they would say no. I do live in a pretty healthy town too, so I have wisened up and what I would recommend is if you are offering refreshments, I would definitely, for your choice of drink, I would definitely narrow it down to no more than, um, no more than three choices. So I narrowed mine down to three or two. Um, I have orange juice, I have water and I have ginger ale and I noticed um, probably during the summertime what I would advise is you offer different drinks in the winter time and different drinks in the summertime so when it gets really really hot I'm probably going to have Gatorade and water and ginger ale as far as like my choice of soda you know because I like to give people an option I'm not a big soda drinker if I drink soda it is ginger ale um, I drink soda every blue moon I have water, everyone loves water, and everyone loves to drink Gatorade when it's really, really hot. So I will have those three options when the summertime comes. I, and I did have beer too here in my salon, but I was offering the beer and not a lot of people were drinking. So you wanna pay attention to what you're offering your clients, what they say no to, what they say yes to. Um, so I noticed in the fall, I have more people wanting to drink wine, but yeah, I don't have a lot of people drinking wine or champagne, so once, I think I'm going to take that away. Once I start to get busy, you know, I will ask my clients, hey, are you a wine drinker? Would you want to drink wine? That's what you want to do. You want to ask your, your clients, you know, what kind of drinks they like um, to make sure that you are not going out and spending money on refreshments that people are going to say no to. Like in the winter time, I offered, I changed it. I had a lot of people take me up on the hot chocolate, hot cocoa with the whipped cream. I definitely did that. I don't have a lot of people asking me for coffee. Coffee is more for me. So because I'm drinking it every morning, I do go through K-Cups a lot. Uh, I am still trying to find that perfect K-Cup. So if you have a suggestion for a K-Cup that you try, that you absolutely love, that's coffee please leave a comment and a recommendation for me so I can try it so far I've tried Green Mountain which I hate because it's um, tastes pretty watery the coffee's not strong I've tried the um, Folgers which I absolutely love Folgers is old school classic it's been out for years I absolutely love Folgers I have tried the donut shop which is okay donut shop's okay and today I actually just bought replaced a K-Cups and I bought the um, Dunkin Donuts coffee which tastes pretty good so yes, I'm a, I am love coffee, I'm a big coffee drinker, so that's another thing I find myself replacing is K-Cups, um, you know, creamers, plastic spoons, so yeah, if you're offering refreshments, if you have a lot of coffee drinkers in your salon, you're going to go through um, disposable um, coffee lids and cups, um, you know, if you have a lot of wine drinkers, it, you know, in your very upscale salon, you know, you might have to replace wine a lot. Um, if you live in a pretty healthy area, you might be going through water a lot. So it just depends on um, what kind of clientele you have and what kind of services you're offering and what your clients like. So um, yes, so for me, I find myself replacing gloves, neck strips. Like I said, I, I love to cut hair, y'all. That is like my main thing. I, everybody needs to learn how to give a great haircut and everyone needs to learn how to use the clippers. If you can cut hair, 
is and do the hair color. I'm telling you, that's like the top extensions is good. Um, you know, other all these blowouts is good, but I'm telling you, people will pay you a lot of money to cut their hair and not just to cut their hair, but to listen to them and cut their hair. But I'm getting off side note. Let me stay focused. Um, oh, um, so, oh yeah, stuttering. So another thing I'm about to go out is leave-in conditioner. So as you ladies know, you know, I came here with no clientele, so probably maybe a year, another year or two from now, I will give you an update on how much product I'm going through. But right now, I'm only re replacing things, um, you know, every couple of months. Like I said, the things that you're going to replace kind of often is, you know, bottled water, soda, refreshments, gloves, trash bags, neck strips, Windex spray, Lysol spray, um, disinfectant, clean to clean everything, barbicide. Those are your things that you're going to be using on a daily basis, hand soap, hand sanitizer. Those type of things you're going to be using on a daily basis. As far as products, it, how much clientele do you have? Do you know, are you having at least three clients a day, five clients a day, eight clients a day? You know, it just really just depends on how busy you are, how much clientele you have, and what are you doing the most of. So I hope that's answering. So this is my favorite leave-in conditioner for all hair types. It's called It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle Treatment, and I absolutely love this. And I also recommend when you first get in your salon loft and you don't have a clientele yet, and, you, and you're working on building it, don't go crazy with the products. Choose a few products, try them out, see how you like it, because I promise you, what you like when you first move in is gonna be something totally different when you actually, six months, eight months down the road. Now this, I've always been familiar with the tea tree, I'm Paul Mitchell tea tree, so I already knew I was gonna love this, so. You know, this is like a staple core of mine that will never go away. This is always a product I'm going to have in my salon. This is another product that I have found that I have liked. And I've had it from the beginning. But I also had other leave-in conditioners too as well that I've tried. Um, certain salon suites will offer you like classes on different brands. I know Salon Lofts, we have Lonza classes. We had the Label M was a big thing. Um, Hattori Hanzo. I have a pair of Hattori Hanzo shears. You do not have to have a pair of Hattori Hanzo shears, okay? Because they're pretty expensive. Um, if you have the budget or if you have, um, you know, credit usage available to you, you can invest in a pair of good hair cutting shears because uh, hair cutting shears do make a difference. Um, you know, when I first started out my hair career, I was one of those styles like I'm never paying too much money for a pair of shears. However, once I did, OMG. I'm never going to go back. And so if you do want to invest your money in a good pair of Hattori Hanzo shears, uh, yes, I recommend Hattori Hanzo all the way. I was not a believer in spending too much money in the shears, but the rep that I have is really, really good. His name is Matt Holmes. He will come in your salon. He will let you try. I mean, he will just talk to you and be patient and ask any I mean, he is just so patient. He will be with you for hours if that's what it takes and he's not pushy or salesy or anything so that's another reason why um you know i will continue to buy hattori hanzo shears because i love the cell rep and then just the actual shear you know is really really good and they're texturizing shears especially if you do a lot of hair extensions their texturizing shears are a little bit cheaper than the actual shears so if you do a lot of weave and hair extensions and you need a layer and cut omg I would definitely get their um, texturizing shears. But if you have the budget, if you don't, you know, work with what you can now and eventually as your salon grows, you can invest in yourself and upgrade your tools. But I do want to say when you move into your loft, you are going to raise your prices. If you're, if you're not, you should be because having a salon suite, is, even though it's small, it's just like having a salon and your rent is going to be pretty pricey. You know, it's, it's not going to be the everyday average booth rent unless you're working with a small business owner who's decided to open up his own suite. But I can guarantee you that your rent is not going to be no less than 200 a week if they've done their research because suites are going for 250, 265, 270. I pay 300 a week. Okay, so um, you should be raising your prices when you go in your salon suite. Do not go in your salon suite and have ten ten dollar haircuts, fifteen dollar haircuts. It might be it might be um, tempting 
um, to lower your prices to get people in the door. I mean, you can try things out. You know, I, I gave a video where I said I was, you know, giving free, you know, haircuts for like a week or two. You can try certain things out, but but as far as like your stable price, don't be going in a salon suite with like, you know, great clips prices sport clips price prices you and I mean you don't have to beat people over the head because I'm not about beating people over the head I don't have these like $250 haircuts $150 haircuts my haircuts I could charge more um, maybe I will in another two or three years but right now as far as my women's um, cut and shampoo I charge 45 and then a woman's haircut with no shampoo is 35 and I did it that way just because it was taking me longer and you know I'm getting off topic I'm going into pricing here maybe that's another video I need to make but yeah I just want to say don't lower your prices when you go into salon suite because all your expenses are going to go up you're going to be I know why I said that because you're going to be investing in better tools you want to invest in good products because you know your salon suite is something that is kind of like a boutique Coming to a salon suite should almost be like getting coming to a boutique salon where you get better service, you get better customer service, you get better, you get more one-on-one -on -one time between the hairstyles and the client. You know, you have online booking available, you have refreshments available. I mean, everything, the level of service, everything should be all the way up. Okay, so you don't want to go all the way up and level up your skill, level up the experience you're giving, level up the environment you're giving, and then give these like low prices you don't want to do that another thing that I go through is I go through candles um, so I love Bath and Body Works and that's another video you guys you, Kelly girl you gave me some ideas on some more videos I can make I will make a video on what type of scents I love for my salon so I go to Bath and Body Works for my candles and wallflowers I do have keep wallflowers plugged in, in my salon and I do keep candles and I always get so many compliments on the way my salon smells so because I burn a candle every day and I keep it burned from the time I'm here to the time I leave I probably go through like a candle within maybe like two weeks so I probably go through like two candles a month either one to two candles a month and then the wallflowers last pretty long so I probably can keep a wallflower for like a month and a half or two so if you are big on smell as well as an experience that's something you'll also go through is candles and wallflowers and another thing I just want to say is I absolutely love this product the Wella oil reflections hair mask this is a really great hair mask it smells really good but it does the job it does what it says it's gonna do I just want to put that quick tip in there because this video is getting longer so Miss Callie Natural Chic or Natural Chic Callie I hope I'm not messing your name up uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I've said something that has helped you. Um, once again, it really depends on what your core services you are offering, how many clients are getting those core services, and what you find yourself using every day. So what I would tell you is that you're gonna go through, replace your refreshments that you offer your clients, you're gonna go through cleaning supplies, and whatever your core services is that you find yourself doing more often, you'll probably have to replace those either once a month, every three months or every six months okay well i hope you ladies enjoyed this video again if you have any questions if there's a hair topic that you would like for me to talk about please leave a comment in the comment section like miss natural Kelly sheep did and i will make the video for you um miss Kelly sheep congratulations on finishing hair school again and if no one's told you that they're proud of you i'm proud of you that's a major um accomplishment into starting your career and I hope that you are having a great day. I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.